Hey guys, welcome back to Be More Light. I am back, you guys, with another word. I wanted to come on here and just share with you guys just something that the Lord placed in my spirit tonight. And I know it's going to bless you guys. I know that um, it's just going to be of great encouragement to you guys today. And so, um, again, if you're new to Be More Light, welcome, you guys. And if you guys are returning, welcome back. Um, so let's get right into what I have to share. So as I was walking my dog Bo earlier, um, the Holy Spirit put the word confidence in my spirit. And I was just walking and I'm like, man, God, like you really require us to really know who you are. And these are thoughts that I'm having as I'm walking, sometimes when I'm driving, sometimes when I'm just like, you know, in my own space, my quiet time, with the Lord. And so I just wanted to share with you guys a bit about having confidence in God. And you could take this as encouragement. I pray that this sharpens you today and that you share this with someone else that is just needing to understand this message. And I do have scriptures here. I have my Bible open and I just wanted to share with you guys how important it is to have confidence in the Lord. And I think about all the times that I, you know, I had so much confidence in myself, even though, and this, I'm talking about like my testimony, like my past, the things I've gone through, the things I've seen with my eyes, like we have so much confidence in the ways of this world, right? If we go into scripture, God tells us to do not be conformed to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And that is by reading your word. Why is it important? Because this is our heavenly instructions. This is how we walk out in faith to God because he is the word, right? He's the way, he's the truth, he's the life. We need him to keep going. Without him, we are just broken, we are lost. And having confidence in who he is, having confidence in what he says about us, what he promises us is so important. And so I want to go ahead and read scripture here. I have three, so I'm just going to read them really quickly. If we go into Hebrews, right? Hebrews 10, 35, and these are all from the New King James Version. It says, therefore, do not cast away your confidence, which has great reward. And I'm going to stop right there because I have I have definitions below biblical Hebrew definitions for some of these words just to kind of break it down for you guys. So it says, therefore, do not cast away your confidence, which has great reward for you have need of endurance so that after you have done the will of God, you may receive the promise. He's saying, don't cast away your confidence. Don't cast away the things that build you up in God, right? Knowing who he is, fearing the Lord. So I wrote down here, the definition I got for confidence was secure. To know your security comes from the Lord. I love this because it's like when you're living for the world, you're broken, you're lonely, you're anxious, you're in stress, you're in discouragement, and you're looking for that security that, you know, you can wrap around and feel secure, feel, feel safe, feel as though, like, you're okay. And one thing that in my faith journey, one of many things should I say is that like for me, protection and security is so important. And many, many of you guys can relate to that, including my sisters in Christ. Like, you know, you want to be married to a man one day that is going to protect you. Most importantly is knowing that our father protects us, knowing that he provides for us, finding our security in him and knowing who he is and what he says about us is confidence. And so if you go into Hebrews here, he says, Therefore, do not cast away your confidence, which has a great reward. If we go down to the definition of reward, it talks about compensation, right? Wages and the wages of, you know, serving the Lord is through obedience. It is just being in faith to him and knowing that he's faithful and seeking him with all of our hearts, not with half a heart, not with one foot in and one foot out, but with a whole heart. What honors God you can ask yourself? What pleases him? What? How can I acknowledge him today, right? Proverbs chapter three, verses five through six, 
Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Do not lean onto your own understanding, but in all of your ways. He doesn't say half of your ways, some of your ways, a small percentage of your ways. He says, in all of your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. So if you're in a season, in a place in your life where your path is crooked or you're not sure which way to go, put your trust in God, not in man, not in things, not in the world, not in relationships, not in things that are broken. Put your faith in God and he will make your path straight. If we go down to Psalm 139 verses 13 through 14, again, this is the New King James Version. It says, for you formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works that my soul knows very well. This is a promise scripture of confidence that we can take away, put this up somewhere where you can see it daily, have it written in your notes. I love little reminders because I, I like, and I'm talking about like sticky notes or just having it in my phone where I can visually see it every day um, or just putting a, a bookmark, you know, a little, little bookmark in my Bible or highlighting it. I love some highlighters um, and understanding that he really means what he says to us. If he knows us so well, he knows our heart, he knows our, he formed our inward parts. He knows every fiber, every being, every cell, everything within us. Then he knows that he is for you. And not that he knows, he is for you, but you must believe that he is, that he's good, he's faithful, even through the worst things, situations, the worst problems, that he's still good, that he's still faithful, even if it isn't what you want it to be like. I had to learn this in my own life, in my own walk, that even if it wasn't the outcome that I wanted, I still praise him because he's faithful. He's good. That's just who he is. That's confidence. That's security. That is hope. That is faith. That is trust in our beautiful Lord. Amen. And so if we go to the last scripture, 1 John, 1 John 4, 18, the King James Version, it says, There is no fear in love. But perfect love casts out fear. Who's perfect love? Jesus. Because fear involves torment, but he who fears has not been made perfect in love. God is clearly telling us there is no fear in love. We don't need to walk around in fear. We don't need to walk around in disappointment because our love is found in the Father. It's his heart that we need to take on. So when we, when we know this, when we grasp these scriptures, when we take this revelation in maybe you're listening to this and you're like wow i never heard it like this before it was never broken down to me this way it is the wisdom of god it is him revealing his spirit his nature to you to me so that we understand that he's faithful that he's good in moments where it seems desperate in moments where it seems like we are just empty our confidence lies in him so I want to encourage you that maybe your eyes are focused on the world. Maybe you're focused on the things you can't control. Maybe it's in your family. Maybe it's in your marriage or with your children. Maybe it's in your finances. All these things are external layers. But what if I were to encourage you and to tell you to put God at the center of everything that's around you? Because those circumstances will always be surrounding us. They'll always be there. You know, we'll always be distracted. We'll always have opposition. We'll always be, something will be against us because that's just how life is. But if we centered Christ, it's not that we will live a perfect life. It's that we will know his perfect love so that when all hell breaks loose or we're facing mountains and giants and opposition that we know our confidence lies in our father lies in our redeemer and a god who's sovereign who's seated on his throne that he makes a way where there seems to be no way and so I want to encourage this kind of faith to you today I pray this increases your faith today because I used to be self-confident. You probably hear that all the time, like self-made, self-me, self-this. And not to say that I always said those words, but you know, we put confidence in things that are just broken. Sometimes confidence in a relationship that doesn't serve the Lord, confidence in just man and things that are just frail. But why not put your confidence today in God? 
he knows you he formed you and i think the enemy wants more than anything for you to believe that he's not good that he's not faithful but you just have to get to a place in your life and your walk with christ where you can surrender yourself to him that you can trust him and take him in right cast all your cares upon the lord he wants to take your cares he wants to take your struggles he wants to take your addictions he wants to take your heartbreak and your heartache he wants to take your confusion he wants to take all these things on and give you his perfect love that you your eyes are open and having confident hope faith through confidence in him right it is by his grace that we can actually sit with him and Again, this is just something that was sitting in my spirit today, and I really wanted to share this, and I pray it blesses you abundantly, and I pray this locates those that need to hear this word. Again, don't put your confidence in the things of this world. These things are so fragile. Like, we're not taking any anything that we have or see or want with us. The things that matter the most is having a heart for Christ and a, a heart to do His perfect will. And when your heart is surrendered to Him, he will use you in beautiful ways. He will use you in ways where he has he's placed things inside of you. So I pray this encourages you guys. I pray you have confidence in God today and that he continues to move you forward. So I pray this blesses you guys and I will talk to you guys soon. God bless you.